everyone, it's Samantha and this is our first 3D Thursday. I wanted to share with you guys how to make this cute little card organizer. You can see the cards fit nicely in it and I decided to decorate the side of it since I would have um, my card organizer stacked side by side like little magazine files rather than this front area here because I'm going to have lots of these little boxes um, taking up my little craft area because I wanted a way to organize my cards. So these are just standard um, sized cards. They just fit right in. And if you don't make a bunch of cards, you can make little divider tabs to go inside the boxes so you can separate your different sections. Whereas I'm gonna be separating my cards using different boxes. So let's get started making one of these. Set this one aside. First, you're gonna need a piece of paper. It's nine inches this way by 12 inches up and down. I've got my scoring tool here. I'm using a score pal for this one. So long ways, you can see this is the long way. Let's zoom all the way out, okay. I have it long ways here, so the paper's going this way. And instead of using the little score pal tool, I've noticed um, it gets kind of messed up at the end here. And I've actually bought replacements, and I just I just don't like their little plastic one. So I thought to use one of these little stylus things. This is actually a nail dot stamper. So you can, you know, use your nail polish and make little dots and polka dots on your nails. Well, I just grabbed one of these out of my nail stuff, and I've been using it ever since, and I love it. It just makes such nice score marks, and I don't have to worry about it going bad. Okay, so I'm using my little stylus tool. Okay, so long ways, we're gonna be scoring at two inches, which is right here, all the way down, and at seven inches. And then we're gonna turn it the other way, and we're gonna score this side at six inches, and at eight inches here. Okay, so these are our score marks here. I'm gonna move my tool out of the way. And what we're gonna do to get this side part here is add some lines here. There's two ways you can do this. Since we know this is a two inch piece, we can just measure two inches here and mark it, the pen or a pencil, whatever you have handy. And then we just use our cutting tool and cut a straight line here, I'll show you. This is probably the easiest way to do this. Got my slicer here, and I just line up that nick mark with the score line on the other side, and then cut. So that creates our diagonal. And then the other way I have, there's our diagonal, and there's one other way I found that works really nicely. If you have a diagonal scoring tool, like I have this diagonal section here on my ultimate tool. So what I do is I just line up this score mark flush against one of these score lines here. Like this B line here, it's not all the way pushed in this corner, but it's straight on this line, so I know it's going to be um, that right, what is it, um, a right angle, I don't know. So that way I can score it there and then slice it with just scissors or with my cutting tool, but that makes the same diagonal line as we got on the other side. I sliced off my two angles there. Now we've got to cut our other marks. I've just got a pair of scissors here. We're going to cut all the way up to these score lines right here and on the other side. Okay, and on this side. these lines. And I don't use a bowl and folder or anything, I just press it down. If you want your creases to be extra, extra creased, 
use a bone folder. Let me just press it down with my hands and that's pretty good. box and now we just put these tabs on the inside and I like these these ones on the outside and I'm folding it so that you get one whole flush piece here whereas if you put this one on the outside you get that line on the outside I don't like that I just assemble it like that so I just put a piece of on this one I'm going to use some glue dots here I'm going to use these permanent glue dots. It's just the glue dots roller. I'm going to just put one on each of these corners because I want a very strong bond. You don't want these things falling apart. So sometimes your tape runners just don't cut it for this kind of thing. You need a really strong adhesive. side. Alright, and that's all there is to the outside of the box. It just makes it nice and cute and it's just perfect for putting your cards in. So to decorate it, I used some paper from the Love Story collection from Echo Park, which was part of our December monthly kit. It just looks really good against that pink. And then I decorated it here with some SP and Company stamps. So I'll show, I'll share the measurements with you, and then I'll show you um, how I did these side ones. So for the front part, let's grab my other one. For this front piece, it is. 4.75 inches this way by 3.75 inches this way. Then for these side pieces, it's 1.75 inches across by 5.5 inches up and down. You're going to need two of these side pieces. And then for the back, it is 4.75 inches this way and 5.75 inches long ways. That gives you the measurements, and I'm just going to show you how. Um, I did this one with a scrap paper. Let me grab one. Okay, so I cut a piece of paper. This is 1.75 by 5.5, and it ends up being the same height as that one corner up at the top. And then I just do the same thing. Since I know it's 1.75 inches this way, I can again grab my ruler, measure 1.75 inches down this way, and mark it. 1.75. Oops. Let's move it over so I have room to mark it. My pen won't fit right next to the ruler. And then I just use my slicer and line up those two points and cut your diagonal. So that would be for this side. For the other side, you have to do it the opposite way. So you measure from this side and cut up to this top corner here. So that's just a little bit of measuring you have to do. Other than that, it's super easy. If you wanted to make divider tabs for this, you could make them the same size as this back piece of paper and then they'll fit inside. So we can cut one of those and I'll show you how it looks. So I cut it 4.75 by 5.75. They'll just fit in there and you can divide out your cards into different categories. That makes it really nice and easy. Thank you for watching. Bye.